Oregon lawmakers, law enforcement officials, addiction specialists, all back from a week-long trip to Portugal. The country's drug decriminalization law was a model for Oregon's Measure 110. So Coyne wants to know, what did they learn on this trip? Brandon Thompson speaking to the skeptics and supporters of Measure 110 today. Brandon, what did they tell you? Well, we spoke to Democratic state lawmakers as well as a Republican state lawmaker and a member of law enforcement about this trip. Like you said, Jeff, skeptics and supporters of decriminalization were on this trip, but they did find something to agree on, like increasing access to treatment on a large scale and giving law enforcement the tools to intervene. Did anything surprise you from the trip? You know, we read about how things are not going very well there. Um, there are some articles that people were, were referring to. Um, it's just not that simple. Um, you know, they're, they're a country that is dealing with many of the same issues we are. Brandon, like they were disappointed that it sometimes takes a week for somebody that wants to get treatment uh, in their system. They have to wait a week. And we were like, wow, people in our system have to wait months. What was your biggest takeaway from the, the trip to Portugal? Measure 110 needs to have that component of accountability brought back. We still want access to treatment, but but the lack of accountability or incentive to get treatment is killing people on our streets. Portugal was much more advanced in how much treatment and access to treatment that they had when they decriminalized. Uh, and we, we desperately need to make sure that we continue to uh, build out our treatment systems with the access to treatment, where does Oregon start with building out the capacity for that kind of thing? Well, for me, that means, frankly, uh, we have to stand up more um, medical detox and medical sobering. Portugal has medical vans that go around with methadone yeah. and meet people where they are and actually provide medical services. One thing that I think would be very helpful is having peers available, having treatment people available who the police, when they're out with these folks who are struggling, can say, hey, listen, we could go to jail, but also, look, here's a treatment person. You can go hang out with them and you don't have to go with me. Are there reforms that the state legislature will make to Measure 110 after this trip? It was very clear to me that the law enforcement leaders that were before us yesterday do not want to just put people in jail. OK, that they are not interested in recriminalizing. OK, but what they do need, to the senator's point, is the ability to deal with public use and the ability to confiscate uh, drugs. And I feel fairly confident that the legislature will unite around those topics at a bare minimum. So Oregon lawmakers will have an abbreviated timeline to work on those fixes 35 days when the short session begins in February. Live in Southeast Portland, Brandon Thompson, Great Six News. All right, Brandon.